Hello guys and uh, welcome to the Wasteland. I'm here today to talk to you about a post-apocalyptic project that I've been working on, hence the outfit and uh, being in the Wastelands. So what I'd like to talk to you about today is what's in this case. Now the case itself has been a bit modified, but the main thing I want to talk to you about is what's inside it, and that is this. So this is a post-apocalyptic belt-mounted computer. And if you look at the case, I've called this the Belt Boy in obvious reference to a certain video game licensed property, which I do not have a license for, which is why I'm calling it something a bit different. And this is adapted from a Brother P-Touch label maker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera off me show you a little bit of this and then we will go on to actually look at the build log of how I actually made this. Okay so the case itself is the case the label maker originally came in and all I have literally done to this is take all the brother P-Touch logos off, make up these sort of 1980s style National Panasonic type logos, uh, hit the corner with the belt sander, put, uh, painted the uh, ID number onto it, added a bit of Dymo tape on the top, and added a couple of official looking sort of tape seals onto the edges of the case. Inside I had to modify the case quite extensively to make the new components fit. So the components, broadly speaking, are the original label maker, a Panasonic um, car phone adapter, hence the National Panasonic logos on the outside. This, which is just a TV aerial masthead amplifier, but uh, it looks quite sort of old and dinged up and a bit rusty because it's been sat on the TV aerial for a few years before it failed and uh, that's just a bunch of old type F connectors and uh, a spare car light bulb but again just labelling all everything up with the Dymo tape as they used to do back in the day on these things my idea is this, lo this looks like a piece of possibly ex-military equipment sort of that's come from a vault dweller and is now being used by somebody living in the wastelands. So the label maker itself is has been modified, uh, repainted and obviously aged a lot. So the there used to be the button for the cutting tape off here and I put an old uh, serial port into there just try and get you in focus there headphone adapter 12 volt power supply and the type F connector so it can be connected up to that and all of this can be belt mounted it has this is this side obviously isn't meant to be seen it's just got a piece of leather on the back so I can run a belt through it the screen in this now this is an example of keeping things simple because it'd be very easy to, well, I say very easy, it'd be very easy to think that to do something like this and to have scrolling text on the screen, you'd have to put a Raspberry Pi or some other microcontroller inside. This doesn't have anything like that inside. What it does have inside, if I just take those bits out so you can see, that circuit board does nothing, that's purely just to hold the keyboard in because the keyboard isn't attached. And what's up the top here is a fridge magnet uh, digital picture frame. So if I just turn that on, which doesn't want to turn on because the switch is quite stiff. Sorry about that guys, it took a little while to get the digital photo frame on, it is quite awkward to get to the switches. So as you can see, what this is doing is this is scrolling through various sort of information screens that um, hopefully look quite convincing. 
as sort of the same sort of style of screens you would get on the um, something like a BBC Micro or, of course, the device that this is trying to emulate, which uh, is from the uh, the popular video game. So you look at this and it has a black screen. It has little cursors and things on it and things happening. But there is no complexity here at all. There's no Raspberry Pi, no microcontroller. This is just a digital picture frame doing what a digital picture frame does. Displaying images and scrolling through them. So how it's displaying those images is that text, sorry, is I've just gone into, I did actually did this in Photoshop, but you could just as easily do it in Microsoft Paint, which is to create an image file that's just green text on a black background. And you save, say, 20 or so of these images with very slight differences between each one onto the digital picture frame. And as you can see, it looks like it is scrolling through text and doing what a computer would do, but it isn't. It's just a picture frame. So, other parts on this, I've, as I said, I've obviously put a lot of connectors onto the side of it, repainted it. This keyboard does absolutely nothing. It's got the circuit board in the back purely so that you can press the keys if you want, but those keys are not hooked up to anything. This control knob does nothing. It's an old radio knob uh, glued in where the... Um, settings switch used to be on the label maker so that is the main part of it that is the main computer part and then we have the power supply which is this car phone adapter again it's got the piece of leather on the back to allow you to connect to hang it on a belt and then i've got some connectors there which will connect into the computer so what we're going to do now is I have another section to this video, which is the build log of me actually building it. Now, I'm going to say right now, this build log is not perfect. There is... I had a few issues with the camera battery dying and with the camera I was using for it running out of space on the memory card because I didn't have a very big chip in it at the time, so... There's quite a few bits that aren't captured, but hopefully it'll give you a bit of an insight into how I actually built this.
Thank you. 